Today we're going to be knocking out lesson 13, Analog Joystick Module. For this lesson we'll be needing the Elego Mega 2560R3, the joystick module, and 5 F to M wires. Let's get started. The lesson plan starts by giving a base overview of our objective, which is to learn how to use the Analog Joystick Module, which is then introduced in the component introduction. It starts by explaining the five pins that are on the module itself. Those pins are the VCC, which is Voltage Common Collector. We have a ground pin connector, a pin connector that connects to what our X axis will be for the joystick, a Y axis pin connector, and one more pin connector called Key or Select for when we push our joystick in. The wiring diagram shows us the pin connector layout. The 5 volt pin connector will be connected to the module's 5 volt pin. The ground pin connector will be connected to the module's ground pin. The A0 and A1 pin connectors will be connected to the module's VRX and VRY pin connectors. As a side note, A0 and A1 are analog pin connectors, and that explains why they're both being used to measure the X and Y axis pins. And lastly, the D2PWM is connected to the module's SW pin, which is being used to control when the joystick is clicked or pushed in. The code starts by defining the Arduino's pin numbers, which are right here. It sets a constant integer for the switch output, which is SW underscore pin. It sets a constant integer for the X axis output, which is X underscore pin. It then sets a constant integer for the Y axis output, which is Y underscore pin. Now for avoid setup, it defines the switch pin as an input to be measured. It then defines the switch pin to also be high. So effectively it'll have voltage running through it until clicked where it will then be set low and voltage will no longer be running through it. And then it'll also start communication with our serial monitor, sending information at 9,600 bouds, um, every 500 milliseconds because of the next line of code at the bottom. Now lastly we come to our void loop. The entire loop is set so that we can gather all of the information that we need about the movement of our X axis, our Y axis, and whether or not the switch on our joystick is being set to low or high. Okay, with that out of the way, let's build it. 